Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, the Aquarius update is out for No Man's Sky. So we're going to take a quick deep dive in and have a look at it, I think, people. I guess. Anyway, let's uh, move that down to there. And uh, you know what? Let's just jump on over to the actual game cam so I can actually see this a little bit better, I think, people. Okie dokie. There we go. Chikaboom. Okay, so the Aquarius update, September 4th, 2024. Cool. This is the latest expansion to No Man's Sky is free to download for existing players and introduces something that felt like the perfect complement to the new water introduced to Worlds Part 1 is fishing. And here we have the trailer. Let's just hit the trailer up in this little window here for now, people. Kaboom. Introducing No Man's Sky Aquarius. Up the quality. Relax alone or together with friends. Find your perfect fishing spot. Very cool. And cast out your line. Pots can be used to bait and trap rare catches. New cooking recipes and combinations are out there to be discovered. Complete your fishing log. Fish in comfort from your personal fishing platform. Prepare your bait. Earn trophies and new fishing equipment. A community fishing expedition sends players competing for the biggest catch. Sweet! The Aquarius update brings fishing and a host of watery features to No Man's Sky. More hmm. will follow. Cool! More will follow. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, scroll on down. Some lovely new icons to be had. Sweet. Fishing in No Man's Sky is uniquely relaxing experience. Players can now explore the universe to find their perfect waterside spot. Hopping with fish. Sit and relax alone with your thoughts or stand alongside fellow travellers as you look out over alien vistas waiting for a bite. I have to say, I need to find a planet that looks like that. That looks pretty darn nice, doesn't it? It'd be nice if you could add lily pads and things on Swamp Wells. Collier. Cool, yeah. And we've got Reef Eel, Jungle Redfin, Marrow Shark, Fields Dartfish, Caustic Urchin. The thrill of the catch lies in the fact that you would never quite know what you're going to pull up. The variety of aquatic life ranges vastly from common minnow-like fish to huge alien marine mammals. Catches vary greatly from planet to planet, and dedicated anglers will have to travel far to find the rarest of fish. Okay, well that's going to be another thing that opens up inside of Reddit, isn't it? On the old coordinate exchanges and over on Facebook and the Interstellar Index. New things to be catalogued and found. Exo Skiff. Venture into the ocean on your deployable Exo Skiff. This customizable fishing platform floats over the roughest seas and has its own bespoke cold storage inventory, making it the perfect way to hunt for those fish that are only found in deep waters. Ah, so deeper waters also has fish. So yeah, you're going to have to go across different planets, different sorts of weather conditions, different sort of depths to find all the fish. Pretty cool. And this thing protects you against storms as well, especially the tornadoes. Cool. Yeah, i just done a video on how to get fishing. And as I was setting up to fish, I got caught in a tornado and thrown all over the freaking shop. If you want to see that video, I'll put it up there for you, people. It's just, it's, a, it's pretty funny, to be fair, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, scroll on down a little bit further. Let's see what else we've got here. Explore to find rare catches. Travellers who wish to complete their fishing log will have to explore a huge range of different environments and water conditions, as well as crafting specialist bait to attract rare catches and exclusive legendary fish. Wowzers. Okay. And while you're waiting patiently to catch a bite, why not dredge for messages in a bottle from those that have passed this way prior or before? Very cool. I did get a message in a bottle earlier. I didn't realise what I was doing was dredging. Automatic fish traps. Research the automated traps blueprint and establish your own autonomous floating fish farm to gather fish while you explore elsewhere. Well, I like that. That's cool, isn't it? Ambient fishing. 
What was that over on the horizon? Was that? Oh, it's just a colossal archive. It just caught my eye, people. That's all. They do like to hide things in these trailers of things to come, don't they? Aquarius Expedition. The Aquarius Expedition begins today. Oh, fudge. I'll have to go see if that's there now. And will run for approximately six weeks. So it takes it up to October, towards the end of October. Perhaps Halloween. Go on a quest across the galaxy to catch fish, gather stories and think about the one that got away. Players who complete the Aquarius Expedition will earn beautiful detail sets of deep sea customizational parts, including a unique underwater jet pack. Very cool. I like the badges. I like the artwork for all of these ones. Pretty darn nice. Pretty lovely. New cooking recipes. Of course, with this newfound ability to farm the lakes and seas and oceans, you'd want to develop your cooking skills of all new recipes and ingredient combinations out there to be discovered. And I've noticed you can use the things that you cook to put on your line and cast back out and fish for other stuff. Marine steak, pickled fish, mollusk flesh, grilled fillet and fish fry. I, I didn't actually look to see what sort of bonus traits they deliver, to be fair. Fishing records. The Wonders catalogue now has a dedicated collection of fishing information, detailing the history of all of your catches and their weights and records, as well as information on how you find each species. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the fact that you can look up which species you've caught and maybe share that with others if they find it hard to find the catch that you've found. Now, curiously, some of these things inside of here look like some of the actual models that that bomber boy managed to data mine. I'm wondering whether Hello Games were toying with the idea of putting all these models into game or whether it's something on the cards for them to do in future. I'm wondering whether we might be given an aquarium to show off our catches. That would that'd be awesome if we could. OK, deep sea diving suit. Hardened against extreme conditions found beneath the waves, this diving suit is a perfect choice for both deep water exploration and afternoons fishing. Oh, right. OK. Does it give you extra hazard protection against water conditions? Might have to test that out. I wonder if oxygen lasts longer. Hmm. OK. If it's got perks, definitely want to get it. Aquarius poster collection. Decorative the walls. Decorate the walls with your fishing shack with sea charts, bounties of the sea and gone fishing posters. Love it. The Lost Angler's Rig. Complete the Aquarius expedition to other co cover the fishy tale of the Lost Angler and earn the use of their exclusive fishing equipment. That does look pretty darn snaz. Tentacle figurine, a synthetic polymer companion for your starship's cockpit fashioned in the likeness of a secret jar. Is fairly cool, isn't it? I guess. I'm wondering whether we're going to get the octopuses lifted and shifted from the Light No Fire trailer into No Man's Sky. Aquarius Flight Pack. Hardened against the extreme conditions found beneath the waves, this jetpack replacement allows for smoother, stylish passage through the murky abyss. It does read like these have got some sort of perks for underwater. Which makes me think that maybe deeper ocean planets are coming, maybe, after this expedition. Maybe in six to eight weeks' time. We love this illustration accompanied by lore. In my head, my traveller is hated pirate who holds no alliances except to his ship and his crew. His sentient bonsai tree using an autophage construct to navigate the multiverse in search of the best nip-nip and a fresh tech to push his scrappy hot rod to fathom systems. Pretty darn sweet. Some nice artwork there. Oh, that's a lovely little draw on that one. Heck yeah, I like that. Created this gorgeous illustration to commemorate the completing their first expedition with their friend. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Little portal there. Super cool. Printed by Johnny One Shot. Very nice portal model there. Oh, yes. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Beautiful artwork. Atlas Eternal. Very nice. Very cool. Some beautiful photography there. Heck yeah. And that's sort of Worlds Part 1. OK, something people really loved in Worlds Update was the new water technology. Tons of players were posting videos of themselves just chilling by the water's edge. One piece of fan art in particular stopped us in our tracks of a player lazily fishing from their wings of their starship. This art, and others like it, was right at the heart of the inspiration behind the Aquarius Update. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? 
Heck yes. Our latest update is Wolf Part 1 just a few weeks ago. It resulted in our biggest player numbers in over five years. Eight years in and we feel so lucky to have so many folks still care about this game we love. It gives our tiny team energy, making us want to pour more and more into the No Man's Sky universe. Oh, that's so awesome, isn't it? It's bloody beautiful. Hello games, you guys freaking rock. Heck yes, you do. My favourite thing is to build a little base on the perfect shoreline so I can cast my rod whenever in the mood takes me. I'm excited for new players to join me. I'm going to be doing exactly that, probably in my next couple of videos, trying to find an awesome fishing planet to make my little fishing shack and then run my expedition to bring back the posters to adorn its walls. So yeah, I'll be doing something very similar. So if that, that, if that interests you people, hit that subscribe button and hit a like while you're at it. Why freaking not? It's free and it's freaking awesome. Well, I like to think my channel's freaking awesome. Hopefully you do too. Oh, there's my Photoshop work that I've been doing on the, the last thumbnail I made. I'm going to have to make one for this one now, aren't I? But there you go, people. That's everything I've got for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and drink my lovely cup of tea and my lovely merch mug. I mean, look at that. It's got some beautiful artwork on it. Drawn by somebody in the community, I guess. She's freaking awesome. I guess she is. And uh, yeah, Holdera, I think her name is. I think that's right. Anyway, until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Steve Jack